Okay, so what we have here is the copter sitting on um, on the decking waiting to take off. This is the FPV screen and there's the iPad screen. So far I haven't added a route. The transmitter for the ground station is actually inside the house. That's over here. So the plan is that my ground station link will go out of range very quickly. But the video link should stay okay. So my next job is to set up on the iPad a route going over some local rough ground so as not to annoy anybody. I'm going to select multiple route. I'm going to start off with one at home. Just there. First waypoint added, move it to where I want it, just in the garden. Now I'm going to head up to the north over some green land, a bit more, a bit further. Right, so far the distance from home is about 250 metres or so. I'm really expecting the ground station link to have died by now. So what I'm going to do just to test is to do a couple of manoeuvres at this distance so I know that we're actually flying rather than just hovering around and then we're going to come home again I'm going to set a waypoint just above the house so that I can uh, see when the cops has come back so that's my route so I'm going to select all, select a flight height of 150 metres and I'm going to select a, transfer, a transit speed of 6 metres. I'm not worried about headings just now. So the copter hasn't actually received full um, GPS links yet. So my plan now is to, is to get the helicopter up in the air, get the Phantom up in the air so that I can get it high enough to get a good GPS lock. So I'm going to go outside and do that just now, and I'll do that before I send the waypoints to the helicopter. Okay, so I've got a good GPS lock. As you can see, the cops is up in the air. It's directly above the uh, antenna just now, so that's why the signal's a bit wonky. So I'm about to send all the uh, routes to the helicopter. Set up loading. Waypoints. That's it, off. It's now uh, on its rising stage. Now I'm fairly certain there's a bit of interference from the um, base station transmitter 
and the uh, video transmitter in the Phantom. So we're still climbing. As you can see on the um, the on-screen display is telling me that I'm at 120 meters ish, I'm still rising. The iPad is telling me that I'm at 146 meters. So right now, the Phantom's about to embark on its first waypoint, which it's doing now. So it's just moving now. Right, it's interesting to note that it's already lost connection. So I've got a connection failed alarm on the iPad. But now if we look at what's happening on the first person view, the Phantom is actually still moving. So the Phantom is still traversing its route as programmed. Fairly shortly it's going to start doing a side-to-side uh, -side transit. So, so far there's absolutely no hint at all that the Phantom is sitting there waiting for the connection to re-establish itself, because it isn't. We're at increasing distance away from home. As you can see we're now 439 metres and we've just executed the first turn that I programmed in as a bunch of turns. So we're going to do a bit of travelling. That interference is, I'm sure, is part of the um, ground station transmitter trying to send me data and interfering with the transmitter on board. That's now executing the second turn I programmed, so we're now going to traverse forward a little bit. Unfortunately, the FPV is a little bit out of its range at this stage. So we're still increasing distance. We're now executing the third turn. It's worth noting right now that the iPad is showing absolutely no connection at all. The Bluetooth and data section of the iPad screen are completely blank. Still doing our transits. I think we're actually heading home now. No, that's another one of the transits it's doing. So to be very clear, I programmed a route into the Phantom via the ground station, told it to set off on its route, deliberately made the uh, receiver and uh, transmitter, the base station transmitter, in a very poor place so that it wouldn't be able to reach that far. And the Phantom has actually completed the whole trip. I believe fairly soon that the ground station will connect up again as the uh, Phantom is actually coming over the house fairly quickly. So we'll keep an eye on that. Any minute now it should tell us that we're in waypoint mode. About 200 metres from home and reducing immediately.
I can hear the phantom coming overhead now. So I'm going to land it directly onto the decking. So far the, uh, the iPad has only just started picking up the signal once more. The iPad, the uh, phantom is directly overhead. Yeah. 